lay things amidst me the feathers. It is all beneath my heart. My heart, you must pierce and break the steel. For raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more. What's on your mind? Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Didn't have to fight anything or anyone. I simply freed the spirit. You, you did what? Freed the evil so it can prowl the world as it will? Did what had to be done. Uh, and if it returns? Ask the ladies of the wood to help. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, oh, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors.
your weapon, young man. You live in a mirror in real life. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. You disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone special was to arrive. We read beast entrails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first. A child of the elder blood, the sown seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. in dawdling. The table set. The cauldron bubbles. We cannot. You know she is meant for him. Imlirith will get her. He will. But not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. I'm <laughs> plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! No, oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly.
Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, you see you, handsome knight. <laughs> <laughs> so, <very> so <laughs> 